going on ladies and gentlemen? If you are new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. We are live from the Geneva Auto Show. We are about to see an epic VIP secret presentation from McLaren, where they're gonna be talking about the new carbon MSO Senna, as well as something secret. And I think it might be the LT version of the 570S. Let's go in, see what it is. Get ready. You recording? I'm recording, let's go. <laughs> 720S, some 570S's, looks like a Senna over there. It's something underneath the box. Got any ideas of what's in the box? Well guys, this is extremely exciting. I am seeing the McLaren Senna for the first time. Now this is a car like the 720S, like the new R8, that when it came out, when it was revealed in pictures, it kind of shocked the world. Uh, me in particular, I wasn't a huge fan of the way it looked, but I am not making this up. In person, this car is radically different, and especially there is a carbon MSO version back in there that I'll show you in a little bit. It makes the car look fantastic. Now. The McLaren Senna, this is another Ultimate Series McLaren. If you've been living under a rock, maybe you haven't heard of it, but you probably have. And it is not necessarily the replacement to the P1, although it is in that series. The actual replacement is going to be the BP23. That's the code name, the three-seater McLaren. That's kind of the true successor to the McLaren M1. Some crazy statistics on the Senna. Four liter twin turbocharged V8. That makes 789 horsepower. That is the most powerful internal combustion engine that McLaren has ever made. Now the P1 had 903 horsepower, but remember it has a hybrid powertrain. This however is their hardcore track focus, almost not even meant for the road, yet you can drive it on the road. It weighs 800 pounds less than the McLaren P1. 789 horsepower, a curb weight of 2,641 pounds. Yeah, that's a recipe for success, but the real, the true beauty of this car is its aerodynamics. Let's walk around it. McLaren's catchphrase for this car is that form follows function. This is all about aerodynamics. They didn't take anything into account in terms of the looks. It was all about making it go as fast as possible around the racetrack. As you can see in the front, now the majority of the car is carbon fiber, so cool. We actually have active aerodynamics under here, active flaps, by the way, you can get these in different colors, that move in conjunction with the active wing. It's insane how many different vents and scoops we have here. And McLaren claims that there is not a single body line on the Senna that doesn't pass through a functional aerodynamic element like scoops or active aero. And I absolutely believe that. Now the Senna produces a ridiculous 1,760 pounds of downforce at 155 miles an hour. 1,760. That's 40% more downforce than a McLaren P1, which gives it 30% more lateral grip than a P1. Rest assured, I am pretty positive this is going to be the fastest car around the Nürburgring. Unbelievable. Some unique stylistic elements of the Senna. You can actually get the door with this cutout here in Gorilla Glass so that you can see through from the inside. Not only does it look awesome, but it also gives you a really unique feel when driving the car, being able to see the ground to the side of you, kind of like an open wheeled race car. Now pretty much everything about this car is supposed to be like a race car or the road. I mean, just look at the seats themselves. One piece of carbon fiber, I believe both of these combined without the rails in them weigh three kilograms for both the seats. Just a little bit of Alcantara padding. The rest of the interior is just all carbon fiber. This massive functional active rear wing is just a sight to see in person. Now the braking of the Senna is one of the absolute marvels. It's able to go from 124 miles an hour to zero 56 feet sooner than a 720S. 56 feet, can you imagine that big of a difference? These brakes, carbon ceramic, but they're actually a step above carbon ceramic using some space grade materials. I imagine they're quite expensive. Some more figures on the Senna before we take a look at an even cooler version of it. Let's get some acceleration times. The quarter mile happens in 9.9 .9 seconds. That's every bit as fast as a Bugatti Veyron Super Sport, yet this weighs almost half as much. It's obviously gonna be much quicker around the track. Zero to 124 miles an hour. Now this is the new benchmark. It used to be zero to 60s, but people are making cars that are so fast, zero to 60 doesn't do it justice. The zero to 124 time of the Senna 
Sienna is 6.8 seconds. For reference, the 720S, which is the brutally fast car, is 7.8 seconds, a second quicker. Now, considering from the four liter twin turbo V8, this makes 789 horsepower, I'm guessing it's very underrated. That's because the 720S has actually been dynoed at close to 700 wheel horsepower, which is closer to 800 at the crank. Does this make 900 horsepower? I guess we'll find out. One last bit on the Senna. Unfortunately, if you want one, they've all been sold out. Now, US customers paid $958,000 for one of these. They made 500 of these, and they were actually sold out both before anyone knew what it looked like and before anyone knew what it was going to be called. The Senna is a really important name. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But there's something over there that I want to show you. just surprised us with the reveal of the one and only, there's only one in the world right now, McLaren Senna GTR. This is the more hardcore, if you can believe there's a more hardcore version of the Senna track only. It is like the successor to the P1 GTR where people who owned P1s could buy a P1 GTR and it comes with a ton of different perks like being in this program where you can take it around the world and race at different racetracks. That is the same thing with the Senna GTR. I wish the road car looked like that. Look at the front splitter on this thing. I believe they are making only 75 of these and they are not going to make a road legal version like they did with the P1 GTR. Look at that. And right after I filmed it, they decided no more. So guys, that is absolutely ridiculous. That is the only Senna GTR in the entire world. It's part of a McLaren program where if you get a Senna, you can also get a Senna GTR and take it around the track through this program. But we're gonna take a look at something really special that they just unveiled. Some people just having a McLaren Senna isn't good enough. They want to personalize it, individualize it, and that's where McLaren MSO comes into play. And you can go absolutely wild with this car. I've been told that pretty much every single Senna that's been ordered, all 500 of them, have some bits of MSO, but you can go far and beyond just a tiny bit of customization. This is fully exposed carbon, and it looks unbelievable. There's also five different themes you can choose from right there on the wall, and they actually come with helmets that Ariton Senna actually wore. Not the exact one he wore, but the same design. The carbon fiber bodywork is just spectacular. Now this one doesn't have the optional clear door. It's instead finished in carbon fiber. Look how insane the wing looks in carbon as well. Now to clear up some confusion, the chassis of the Senna is completely different than the one on the 720S. This isn't just a hyped up, lighter, higher powered 720S. The 720S uses what McLaren calls the Mono Cage 2. This is the Mono Cage 3, and it allows the engine to be fitted extremely low to the ground. Check out the different MSO color scheme options. These are meant to inspire creative specs. These are just marvelous. I like this one a lot. It looks really good in white. I think, though, it's time to configure a Senna on the screen. The Senna in carbon is just absolutely breathtaking. The normal Senna, obviously stunning, but this next level with MSO, apparently this is 350,000 pounds worth of options. I don't know the conversion right now, but 350,000 British pounds over a base Senna that already cost 958,000 US dollars. That is expensive. Oh no, wait, my Senna. All right guys, well I've just won the lottery and it is time to spec my McLaren Senna. I wish. Not really. <laughs> we're going to play with this configurator. This is absolutely so sick. There's different trim levels. You've got different preset options uh, that you can choose, but we're going to go through individually. I'm really liking the white. The white looks epic. Wheels. Oh my gosh. You can change the wheel lug nuts. Oh, what about like a purple? Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> Exterior door upper. See? Ah, so that changes. That gives you a see through roof. I think this being a see through window is like the coolest thing. It actually makes, well, I'm pretending to drive the center right now, but driving it more like an open wheeled race car where you can actually see to the side and below you. Imagine 100 plus miles an hour doing that. We've already got the Gorilla Glass. Are these the front arrow blades? Yep, yeah, these go to the front. So that white little bit down there, ah, uh, yes. Oh, this is gonna be cool. There's enough colors. <laughs> there are enough options. <laughs> 24 karat gold option here. We're gonna have to take that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I'm really liking this new trend of instead of the gloss carbon fiber, the satin. satin or mattish carbon fiber. It's a little bit it looks, classier. It looks classy, it looks classy. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where is that? Oh. I'm not sure about that. Bit too much. <laughs> there you have it. That is how I would expect my new McLaren setup. That is so that cool. That is actually so sick. <laughs> oh my god. Well, preview day is officially over. We have gone from the carbon fiber McLaren Senna to the Mercedes minivan in the back of the loading zone. We also have, whew, looks like an extended wheelbase Rolls Royce Phantom. The new Phantom 8 is unbelievable. Time to head back to the hotel, then we're gonna grab a nice dinner. Hectic. We are back at the hotel. That, those McLarens were insane. Honestly, the Senna is seriously cool in person. Yeah, we both we both went into it going, I don't even know if in person it's gonna change our opinion, and we, it, it, it's altered actually, my perception of cars. It's changed my opinion and perception on every other car because it now just looks boring. Everything oh, looks yeah. boring. No, we saw the 488 Pista, and we were like, yeah, what, that? It looked aggressive until we saw the Senna. Yeah. And then we saw the Carbon Senna, and then we saw the Senna GTR. And, and we're standing uh, next to that, and it's just like, Oh, it's a road car. Yeah. I mean, the fact that, yeah, he was saying the coolest thing will not be to see one at the auto show parked. Imagine seeing one pull up to a gas station, a guy driving it down the PCH. Could be us in our spec Senna. <laughs> it could be. Just casually driving something that looks so much like a race car on the road. And, and that's what McLaren's done with the Senna. It's, it's yeah. unbelievable that it's street legal. It is. I can't wait to see it. I mean, it's a true, it's gonna shatter the GT2 RS record, I think. Yep, it's gonna shatter everything. It is. Everything. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, if you're not subscribed to Supercars of London, what are you doing? Link in the description below for that. It's about to get nuts. I mean, the auto show, we saw a couple things. Most of the stuff was under wraps. Once it comes off, once the covers come off. Yeah. Carnage. That's usually when it gets <laughs> when it gets good. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. All right, and we're back. I just wanted to say thanks so much to McLaren for making this possible and hosting me. I, it's an unbelievable opportunity, and to be able to come out to the Geneva Auto Show for the first time with such an incredible car company and to get to see what I just saw today and bring that to you guys, the Senna, the Carbon Senna, the Senna GTR, and also to hang out with some awesome European YouTubers like Supercars of London. I also met Archie Hamilton today, as well as Mr. JWW, as well as Seb Delaney, and then Shmi was there. I'm just so incredibly thankful for it. And I'm thankful for each and every single one of you subscribers because without you, none of this would have happened. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.